Tonight we're getting a better idea of how a tornado formed that hit West Harris County yesterday and the path it took. This is a look at the crews cleaning up the damage today at a tire shop in the Katy area. Meteorologist Kim Castro breaking down the new storm reports from the National Weather Service. Let me know. We now know the strength and the path of that tornado that touched down in the Katy area early Wednesday morning. The National Weather Service says at 2:47 a.m., an EF1 tornado rotating at speeds of 90 miles per hour made rubble of what was a Firestone building on South Mason Road. It blew out the windows from the surrounding strip mall and hurled an AC unit into the parking lot. The survey team says it hit quickly, then lifted away, but we now know it didn't entirely dissipate. In fact, after that initial blunt force, the tornado lost some of its tightness, but it kept going. It widened and weakened, going from an EF1 to an EF0, as it continued on for another one and a half miles to a neighborhood just east of there. It ripped limbs from trees, uprooting some of them, and damaged homes. The wind that caused that, 65 to 75 miles an hour. All in all, the total path was 1.67 miles. It was 300 yards wide and lasted from 2.47 a.m. to 2.49. That's right, just two minutes did all that damage. Now we look back into the historical storm reports. This is tornado number 248 in Harris County since we started keeping count back in 1950. Lenmia, back to you.